Over the past few years, I've been analyzing a bunch of baddies from the Super Mario universe. I've done a bunch of enemies, from thwomps to chain chomps to typhoos, on and on. These things have amazingly intriguing mathematics behind them. The physics is incredible behind their signature moves, and the very bizarre enemy known only as a conch door from Super Mario 3D World is no exception at all. The Theorizer. Conch doors are long-necked birds whose signature move mimics that of the odd behavior of head-slamming, dirt-digging ostriches. They fly down 90 degrees in a mere 0.13 seconds. After comparing them to Mario's confirmed height of about 1.5 meters, guess what? Its neck and head are what I measured to be approximately 2.94 meters, or almost 10 feet tall. Jeez! Combining all of this together in formulas of rotational physics, we find that its head slams into the ground with a speed of about 34.65 meters per second. That's a whopping 125 kilometers an hour, or 78 miles an hour. That neck should hella snap. With this velocity, what we can do is find a lot. It only takes a tenth of a second for them to slow down after bashing the ground, which means they decelerate with almost 350 meters per second per second. That should definitely fracture them. But if we figure out how heavy this thing is, we can figure out how hard it really hits the ground specifically. All we really need to do is find the weight of their neck and head as those are the things that move. Researching the average density of birds this size, all we need to know is the amount of space this thing takes up. It's really easy. We can find the rough volume if we just break down the conch door into common geometrical shapes. The neck is a cylinder and its head is a mix of two separate hemispheres. Those volumes have very common formulas and once again comparing these to Mario's confirmed height and mixing it all together, we end up with a head and neck volume of 1.44 cubic meters. Average birds this size have been tested on for their densities, and merging these two together we get the mass. Conch door necks weigh a wonderfully chubby 1,050 kilograms. Ridiculous, that's way way higher than any ostrich weighs. That's just over an imperial ton. 2,300 pounds. Insane. Remember when I made that graph video on the masses of Mario characters? Here's where it sits on that thing. Conch door head and necks alone are not as heavy as Pink Gold Peach, but heavier than Metal Damn Mario. Pretty good, but now onto the task at hand the force. Multiplying mass by acceleration, we get the force, and I'm not holding back. This is freaking ridiculous! 364,000 newtons. That's around 82,000 pounds of force bashing into the ground. Since his beak is a semicircular cone, if we know the area, we can find the pressure he whacks the ground with. Oh, 847.3 kilopascals. Holy cow. That's 123 pounds for every square inch. Depending on how exactly he hits it, that could be enough to break through skin. Mario would be skewered and smushed by this thing. Conk doors, you scary! The movement energy alone equates to about 630,000 joules, which would mean that this thing would need to eat 586 McDonald's Big Macs before each head slam if it truly wanted to have enough energy to achieve this. 4.85 megawatts is the power here, and assuming Mario's standing right next to the conch door, you know how loud that would be? Well, it has an intensity of 171.4 watts per square meter, which is about a loudness of 172 decibels. Almost as loud as a ha 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 cannon. So conch doors are horrifying, I don't know what more to say. Until the next little batty analysis we analyze amidst a sea of crazed conspiracies, I'm the very random and quirky theorizer. 